Hey, good morning YouTube. I got about halfway through doing some maintenance on the tractor and realized it was probably a good idea to uh, make a little quick video about it. Uh, this tractor uh, has been with us for probably six to eight months now and I probably haven't given it as much attention as it should have been given. Maintaining it as much as we can um, as we go, you know, learning things about it. But today I'm working on the stabilizer chains and I'll, I'll show you what they look like right now. I bought a kit that comes with a new turnbuckle and uh, some new, uh, you know, attachment points and whatnot. Here's a piece of the chain. I did not realize how big it was when I bought it. And now I'm finding out that it is just way too long. Uh, pretty much the whole length of the stabilizer chain I need is, is about the length of this turnbuckle. Um, but it's just not going to work. So what we're doing is we're tearing apart the old stuff. And I just did some routine maintenance on it, which I probably should have done in the very beginning. It hooks up here to a little eye, right? It goes to a turnbuckle, which I've pulled all the way apart uh, put some penetrating oil on it and then also some uh, lithium grease I probably should get something a little bit better than that out of the tube but uh, the lithium grease seems to work for now if you look on the inside of the tires the guys that had it before us you know tires dry rot as they are but these chunks that they're tearing out the side and it's because of this stabilizer chain not being hooked up and using using attachments with it but so got this one done, we're gonna go uh, work on the other one. I've got some white lithium grease and I've got some penetrating oil, right? I usually shoot the penetrating oil on it first and then shoot the uh, lithium grease on it afterwards to uh, protect it. That oil is just gonna break loose some of the rust and uh, help uh, separate the bolts and whatnot. It, it's supposed to creep in those uh, hard to reach areas. We have the, uh, this attachment point right here. That's the one that I moved before. I went ahead and took that off so I could clean that up. The nut, the washer, and then we got this other turnbuckle here. I've already run it out, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it with some oil and then uh, get some grease on it to, to protect it. So I uh, may or may not have lost the other pin, so cheaper for me to hold on to these ones that I bought than it would be for me to ship it back, so we're going to scavenge Alright, put the pin in there, I'm just going to take and bend it down. All right, there we go. So we moved the pin up the arm. It's probably about three inches or so. Um, greased this up a little bit. Greased up these threads right here. And then what we also did is uh, shot some oil on this. And uh, what we'll do is tighten this up.
try to clean this up some. And uh, I've got some turkeys that keep coming into uh, to the to the property and the, let me get away from this tractor. I may have been drowning myself out the whole time. They've been coming into the property and eating up against the side of the house where I just planted a bunch of grass seed. So what I want to do is maybe clear a little bit of area back here, uh, right near our property boundary, and um, throw some stuff out and see if I can keep them here. We want them here. I just don't want the pressure. I just don't want the pressure uh, to be too high for them. I I'd like them to hang around, but you know I don't want to have to look out the window before I walk out to the truck every day so I don't scare them off. But I've got most of that area up on the front cleared out and I'm going to slowly work my way back to where I'm standing now but I figure uh, probably a little early for a food plot we don't have a really big piece of property it's it's about uh, just under 8 acres it's like 7.8 and uh, we've got 5 acres behind us and then we got a highway right there and then there's another almost 9 acres that's right here so uh, We've got a little bit of woods, but uh, we're just going to try to manage it the best we can. Alright, so you can kind of see what I've done. Try to use the uh, front uh, front end loader to there we go. Try to use the front end loader to kind of smooth everything out, and then came back with that disc. Uh, <laughs> the best I could do, but it's a little rough when you don't know what you're doing. Um, and just kind of cut cut up the roots and just kind of maybe spread it out, even it out. Um, if you got a better suggestion, uh, leave a comment and let me know. I, I think I need a box split. Um, right now I've only got a disc and a rotary cutter and I don't need the rotary cutter. So I'm trying to make do with what I got. Luckily I do got that, I do have that front end. But uh, you can kind of see behind me. It's a little, little more flat than what we started with. Um, this was all harvested pines. You know, we, we told them leave every oak that they can possibly leave. Some got broken, but um, you know, these uh, these pines were all cut down so that we could flatten everything out and turn it into uh, some pasture. But we wanted to leave some shade also. So uh, I think a box blade would probably help level it a little better, and uh, maybe some time, maybe a helper to come and uh, pick the stuff up. I'll see if my my wife is available. She always likes to help do those dirty projects. But anyways, that'll do it. Uh, I threw out some uh, wild bird game feed I found over at our Ace. Um, it's, all, it's all I could grab at the moment. Maybe this will keep them back here for a little bit instead of 
up against the house. I've got to go pick up my little one from uh, preschool. And we're going to go put the tractor up. But the tractor seemed to work really good. I'm going to check the footage and uh, see how it did. But uh, it didn't sound like it was banging up against the tires. So there's at least one win for the day. And again, if, like I said, if you got any recommendations, leave me a comment. And uh, hopefully we can get some more videos like this out for you guys. So here is a uh, messed up disc on this, uh, well, on this disc. We got a jacked up one. This is a really old unit. But um, I've got a replacement here. And I don't have the right socket, so we're going to try to use a crescent wrench to break it loose. I've already shot some penetrating oil on it to see if uh, it can make it a little easier. But if we can't, we're going to have to run to the store and maybe get the correct size socket. I've got an uh, inch and a quarter and an inch and a half. So you do the math. It's neither one of those. It's somewhere in the middle. But uh, we're going to see what we can do. So there we go, just a little bit of oil and uh, the wrong tools. I'm sure you guys will know that already, but it's what I had on hand. You make do with what you got. Slowly coming off. What I'll do is once I get this off, I will uh, get the tractor turned back on and we'll get this lifted up in the air. Get it pulled all the way off and I'll take a look at it and see if we need any other parts in here. I think we just need to replace this disc and we get some get some time. We'll uh, try to tear this whole thing apart and uh, make a video of maybe sandblasting it and rebuilding it and getting it painted, bringing it back to it back to some good shape i looked all around when i bought this tractor this thing was just sitting over on the side i think they said they used it for putting food plots in but would be willing to part with it so i uh, made them an offer on it it was a hell of a lot cheaper doing it this way than buying a brand new one and the new ones they had on the lot were not built like this one was so, I take things for what they're worth, and uh, like I said, got a really good deal on it. So, I know I'd had to put some elbow grease into it, but buying a new one built the way this one was built would be out of our price range. The newer ones they had on the lot were in our price range, but I knew the amount of work that I was going to put this one through that those would probably uh, not make it. We'd be doing the same exact maintenance, if not more, on it in the long run. So, in any case, let's, uh, let's get this tractor fired up. We'll get this piece pulled off. We'll slide our new one on. say new it is uh oh, probably seen better days but not broken right here's what we had obviously a stump or 
something cracked it, and then over time, it just, uh, you know, turned into this. Let's see if up here. Anyways, you get the picture. So, out with the old, in with the new. I'll shoot some grease on here. What oil I have left. This is penetrating oil. It, uh, it's Ace brand, but it is penetrating oil. It, uh, it's supposed to creep and get down into those areas, those hard to reach areas that you can't get to. Uh, when you're trying to break something loose. So, we'll get this cleaned up for the next time we're gonna have to get in here. And when it comes to grease in a can, I care. I like the uh, white lithium grease. Um, you can use it inside your house, and outside your house. Uh, it doesn't have a really bad smell to it. You can use it just about anything. Except for the stuff you're not supposed to use it for, which I'm sure it says on the can. I'm not smart enough to know what it is off the top of my head, but just go ahead and shoot everything with it and uh you want to follow the same direction that these other blades are which is pointing out and on here it's got a square almost like a key that it'll fit onto so, take this nice and tight it has three washers on it i wish i could tell you why it has three washers on it i have no idea but uh those will just go ahead and fit. Almost got me. Slide this piece on first, almost like a hub. Three washers. And our nut. does the best it can but the amount of rust sure don't make it easy all right what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll drop this back down so it'll lock my disc into place and then I'll, I'll tighten her up Again, probably not the best tool to use. I'm uh, one slip away from a couple bloody knuckles. Seems to be the theme of today. We just use what we got. So, uh, yeah, there it is. This video is probably going to feel a little weird. Um, I just got back from um, picking up my youngest who was at school. And I figure I could go ahead and knock this out as well. So we'll just make this uh, a little long video. It'll probably have a little weird transition in it, but the, uh, you know, do what we can in a day. And today we did maintenance. So thank you guys again for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.